only to fight uh, Sage in Grand Finals, and Sage, Sage was victorious. But that has not been the first time, you know, it, this would not be the first time that JKT has defeated to kill Sage. So, yeah. Yeah, Sage has always had like some trouble like playing Fox against Luigi. He doesn't like Fox versus the brothers in general. Yeah. And uh, there was a time when he was having his character crisis playing Sheik, uh, then like trying to go between the characters, and then now Mewtwo. He's now yeah. a lot more confident versus Luigi as Fox. Yeah, uh, already we're seeing that to begin. I, it's, it's, I love the patience. I was just about to say because he's not getting grabbed. Yeah. Because that is um, I forget. I was listening to. I think it was actually at um. Uh, a couple of uh, the commentators were talking about, you know, there's finishing touch, and then there's beginning touch, which <laughs> is uh, Yoshi, uh, sorry, not, uh, uh, Luigi down throw. Luigi, that's cute. Anyway, so uh, we see a really sizable lead, and that's the stock already. We oh only have 18% on to kill Sage. It seems like his neutral game right now is amazing. I, he, like, dropped neutral once for one grab. Yeah. And the rest of it, he's just been absolutely reading every single one of JKT's options. Ooh, he lost his jump, but he still manages to make it back there. If there's anything that, like, uh, for the style that Stage goes for, like, and this comes from a lot from, like, playing scrolls and stuff, he really, like, he really goes with his set play. You know, when he gets a reset, he makes a read on what you're going to make, what you're going to do, and then he continues on, it, on that read. And it makes his strings go for so long and do so much damage is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, another reason you see him pulling back is, of course, because Luigi has that frame three nair, which mm -hmm. is, it's it's especially scary because not only is it a combo breaker, it's a combo starter. It pops the opponent directly above him, and as Fox, you do not want to be directly oh above my God. a Lu Luigi, but you're perfectly okay being above him because as soon as he air dodges, you're going to end his stock. Yeah, that was a really good, he baited the air dodge with one jump, mm -hmm. and then he went up for the punish, and well, yep. the kill, actually. And uh, sealed that game pretty, really strongly, actually. That was, uh, super convincing. Like, I, I don't even know what sort of adjustments JKT should be making because I barely saw him win neutral. Yeah, he, like, basically that's what he's going to have to do. He he's going to have to mix up his neutral. He goes to FD, which is... So, I was saying earlier how I believe that, like, at least my interpretation of FD is I go to FD when I'm confident that I can outplay the other person in neutral. Well... And, one of the things you always want to keep in mind is that Fox is an uh, extremely high movement character, right? Yes. So having platforms lets him mix up all of his landings mm -hmm. at like to such a degree because he's also a fast faller. Yeah. Right. Oh so my like, God! Look at this. The slower characters taking them taking a fast character to FD is actually a pretty good idea because now uh, the the approaches are a lot more predictive. Yes. That is very true. Although. Like, last game, he wasn't really using the Smashville platform that much. He was just using, like, he would get a single hit and then just get, like, take a mile with it. Oh, good delayed air dodge coming out from JKT. Manages to mix to kill Sage up, and he, so he doesn't get punished, and he makes it back down to the ground. Oh, and that's it. Up till wow. up air. That was so good. He that, Did you see that, though? JKT power shielded the Nair, and he, but the cross-up meant that he still got hit by that up tilt up there. Yeah, he dropped his shield, and he didn't expect that move to be right there, or at least he thought he was too far, and he was able to like yeah. do something. But you know that, that jab, the up tilt, it, it's three frames. He has a jab with his butt, like it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I love that though. But you know that's something you always need to respect. Doing dash attacks and like grab whips yeah. versus Luigi is most of the time a death sentence. Yeah, no, he is one of the most lethal up the out of shields in the game. It's uh, terrifying. Yeah. Uh, and we see it right there. It, he, it's this is definitely doable for JKT at this point. We haven't seen him get any really good down throw combos, but like a Luigi, if he gets a down throw and he gets the proper follow ups, he could probably tie it up at this point. Yeah, no, he can do a lot of damage. He isn't the same as he was since the patch. Yeah. Uh, and Fox is a fast faller, so it might be a little bit more difficult because it will start he a little won't bit be later. floating around and yeah. stuff because he'll be like hitting the ground. But you know, he still has like his low percent stuff. Oh, oh my god, god, the double nair! Double nair. <laughs> Looking like a Luigi ladder, and that dash attack, I think that was probably a misinput, and that is going to cost him the stop. Yes. And the game, and the set. Okay. Alright, so we